In this video, we'll see how to configure an account, that's email account manually. Previously, we have seen how to configure an account automatically, but now we'll go for manual process. Let us see now, I have two uh, emails which are configured at hotmail.com, pavanlalwani at hotmail.com, training.tutorials at gmail.com. Now what I'll do is, I'll configure the th third email ID, that is gmail.com, and but by manually. Let us see. So first thing is, I'll go to this file, and I'll click on this add account. Now, first one we selected as email account, but now what I'll do is I'll go for this manual setup or additional server types and I'll click on next. Next is there are two options outlook.com or exchange and second one is pop or imap. So I'll select this pop or imap and then I'll click on next. After that, if you see it is asking for some details, what I'll do is I'll enter the details one by one. First name, that is your name and the email address. So I'll type here the name as Pavan Lalwani and the email address as Pavan Lalwani 0 at gmail.com. Remember, earlier I had as hotmail.com, but now I'm going to add here as gmail.com and the account type would be as pop3. What is the incoming mail server? So I'll type here as incoming mail server pop gmail.com. What is the outgoing mail server is imap.gmail.com. The password, what is the username I've given? That's the, my email ID. And the password, I have to use the same password which I have for my account. And I'll use the password as given here. And finally, I'll just click on this more settings. Now, after you go to this more settings, you'll get a dialog box. You have to go to this outgoing server and you have to select the first checkbox that is my outgoing server SMTP requires authentication. So you have to keep it as it is. But now the next one is you have to go to this advanced option which says as incoming server that is POP3 which is given as 110. But make sure you convert into a SSL. So I'll select this one as SSL. See the number will change to 995 itself. Okay, so this is what you have to keep as it is. Next one if you see outgoing server SMTP the number is given as uh, that is 25. From here, I'll select the encrypted connection as SSL, okay? And after uh, changing this to SSL, what I'll do is, I'll change the number. The number would be as 465 for Gmail. And finally, after doing this settings part, I'll just click on OK. And then I'll click on this next. So it is now working fine. Log into incoming mail server. And second is send test email message. And finally, it says congratulations all test completed successfully click on close to continue so right now i have this two email ids so i'll just click on close and if you see i've got the third one pavanlalwani0 at gmail.com and then i'll click on this finish part so if i expand this if i expand this slowly gradually what will happen is all the emails which i have on the server will be loaded at this place what i have to do is i have to just go to this option the first option on the top that is send and receive so if i click on send and receive it will synchronize with my server whatever emails are there that will be loaded into my Outlook account. So right now, if you see at the back end, all the emails are getting loaded one by one. Right now, I don't want because there are many, many emails at this place. I'll just click on this minimize button. So I hope you understood how to configure an email manually. Okay, that's all for this video.